Today we're going to discuss the topic of oil analysis. So let's begin by discussing what oil analysis is. In simple terms, it's the laboratory assessment of an oil sample. We're generally looking for three things, the condition of the oil, the level of oil contamination, and the extent of component wear. It's a process which means that it involves collecting the oil sample from the component, having that tested, usually at a commercial laboratory, interpreting the test results, identification of actionable work, and completing that work to restore the condition of the unit. There's many benefits of oil analysis ranging from planning and scheduling, monitoring improvement initiatives such as your contamination control efforts, lowering your operating and capital costs, and maintaining the equipment reliability and longevity. So where is the value in oil sampling? Because simply testing the oil doesn't actually change anything, but what it does do is it provides you with an understanding of what's happening, the condition of the component, and it provides with some recommendations. The value comes from how you respond to those data points. There's many tests involved in oil analysis, and these can be performed on an individual basis, but most of the time they're rolled up into a test package to provide you with an overall assessment of the fluid in different categories. When selecting your tests, it's important to match the testing to the type of oil being tested and the likely failure modes that you're trying to monitor. You want to also match the flagging levels to whatever your corrective response plan is. And you also want to consider whether to perform a single test package for all of your assets or whether some of your more critical applications require additional testing. And finally, you should consider what types of testing should be performed on a routine basis and which should be performed on an exception basis or a triggered basis. When you're interpreting test results for component wear, it's important to realize that some component wear is to be expected. Wear rates do tend to increase with age, and filtration can give you the impression of a steady state. So when you do see abnormal wear, it can usually be explained by one of these categories, and the types of corrective responses that you do to oil sample usually fall into these same categories as well. When you look at oil analysis results for the oil condition, it's important to know that oil degradation is complex and it leads to physical or chemical changes. There's lots of issues around having oil condition that's poor. And so the focus of oil analysis is generally to confirm that the correct oil is being used, identify at what point the oil should be changed, and to hopefully maintain the oil condition for as long as possible. When looking at Contamination levels. Contamination can be many things, ranging from external ingression, cross-contamination with other fluids, or oil breakdown products. Contamination control is important on all rotating equipment. It's a common uh, statement that up to 80% of all failures on hydraulics are caused by contamination. And there's similar issues with engine oils, turbine oils, and other components as well. So how, can, how much contamination is too much? That depends on the application we're talking about and the exact contaminant we're looking at. But in general, we want to make sure that we have defined thresholds, such as the isoparticle count. We want to look at our trend analysis, and in some cases, the answer should be none. When starting an oil analysis program, it's important to build your foundation with a plan, and we can assist with that in terms of our benchmarking process, our auditing process. Uh, setting you up for sample collection activities. You then make sure you perform the right tests or packages. It's important to unlock the full potential of your program through expert interpretation, and we can provide assistance with that. And lastly, you want to empower your own employees through training, because lubrication is a universal concept. If you have any questions about this presentation or would like to talk further, please contact Fluid Life. Thank you for your time.